Hi there, my name is Jacob Norris and I'm currently lead environment artist at NVIDIA. Just wanted to say thanks to everyone who's joining this creative marbles machine contest that we got going on. And I'm going to give you a quick overview of building out your marble machine and uh, setting up the marble and just helping you get along your way so that you can build some awesome, epic, and really creative machines that we can see uh, will be given out first, second, and third place prizes for this thing. So we want to see the best and most creative work that you can come up with. Provided for you, we've actually created some new assets that you can use from the marble scene, as well as all of the original Marbles RTX assets are provided. Now, to get started, this is just a new scene inside of Omni Create, which you can get from the Omniverse launcher. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a simple plane here by going up to the top, go to Mesh, and click on Plane. This is just give me a background to make it easier for you all to see as I'm working. Now, you should have the content provided to you already inside of Omniverse, and the location will be given on the contest page so you can find them a lot easier. In the meantime, I'm going to click this eyeball up here and hide the grid, and under Show by Type, I'm also going to hide my lights just so that I can make a nice clean scene to work in. Now, it's really easy to just grab anything from the content browser, drag and drop it into your scene, and after a moment, the textures and the model and everything will all be properly loaded in for you. Then we have a nice pivot here that you can change orientation, rotation, and translation, similar to most all the programs, with W, E, and R. Now, I'm not going to go and build an entire marble machine here at the moment just because I don't want to give away all my secrets. I also want to see what you all come up with. And this is mostly just to kind of give you an idea, as I mentioned before, of how to get your gravity working on the marble and getting you off on your way. So I'm going to start it off with just these two pieces. Maybe we'll finish the marble inside of this cup here at the base. If you want to use the provided marble asset, that'll be the easiest. But if you want to create your own, I'm just going to create a simple mesh under the sphere option this time and make it a bit smaller and easier to work with here. So now we have our marble at a decent scale that's fitting pretty well on top of these beautiful assets that we have here for you. After it's pretty much in position, and you can do this before it's in position as well, if I have the sphere, the sphere selected here, I'm going to go to the Properties panel, click on Add. Under Physics, we'll see Rigid Body. So I'll select rigid body. Then we'll go back to the add option. Under physics, we're going to go to collider. And if we scroll down, then we'll see our options for rigid body. You can adjust your velocity and a few other uh, factors. And then under the collider section, I'm going to change the approximation to bounding sphere. And that'll just make it easier for the collision on this. So now we have a marble with collision and our simple machine. Yours is going to be much more awesome than this one, of course. And then at the bottom, I'm all ready. I can just click play. And you'll notice, actually, the marble is not moving yet. That's because there's one more thing I need to add here. Under Create at the top, we'll go to Physics, and we need to make this a physics scene. So I'll select that, and now we have a physics scene in our stage and we hit play again and now we'll actually see the marble rolling. Since this will be a marble machine we want a lot of marbles coming out 
and we want a lot of stuff happening here to actually get this thing rolling through your whole machine. So just really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this marble off a few times. That's going to give us some more marbles, mar marbles to work with and we'll get this thing pushing along through the machine a bit, a bit more, a bit faster. And that should do it. So now I'll just hit escape to deselect everything, hit play, and we'll see what happens now with all these marbles. There we go. Now we start to see him falling through. That guy fell off a bit earlier. You'll notice I'm also currently in RTX real-time mode right now for the lighting. You'll want to finish setting up your lighting and actually change this to path traced mode when you're going to be rendering out your shots with your cool camera angles and showing off your machines. That way it presents it in the best possible renderer that we have in kit. Thanks so much and we're all looking forward to seeing what you create.